Hollywood movie studios are gonna hate this because I'm about to share a secret meta token that makes AI images look like they came directly from real blockbuster movies. Wow, how did you make these, Eric? I've stumbled into a prompt physics hack. This is a secret meta token that's literally buried in plain sight. But you may have seen me talk about this before. In fact, I have. But that's not what we're going to focus on today. I'm going to first show you this most precious token, but then we're going to actually level things up. That will make your AI images look identical to the real Hollywood movies. Welcome to the Stills Archive meta hack. But what if I told you that this can all be done with just one very simple phrase? Stills Archive and then put the specific moviestudio.com, but put a space after the last letter and the dot com for a very strategic reason. And before you go crazy, this isn't about copying movies or violating copyright. This is about understanding cinematic language and using AI to learn from style like a director. And I'm gonna actually reveal this part in a second because like I said before, this video isn't just about this one phrase, Stills Archive. We're gonna be adding a massive combination of cinematic realness. Now, if I head over here into my prompts portal, this is already getting thousands and thousands of prompts for AI images and AI video. On the left hand side, let's go ahead and open this up and actually choose a filter I already have created that's called Stills Archive. Guess what? I have a discount code for 25% off the Everything Bundle. Click the links in the description. Now what this actually does is it's going to show you the perfect examples of every time I used this specific meta token. But here is where things take a amazing new turn. Let's look at, for an example, this one right here, where I specifically said the movie. Okay, here's another one right here. But then as I go to different genre models where I then said, in this case, Beauty and the Beast, I mean, this looks identical to the actual movie. And all I used here was just Stills Archive Disney and then that space and comma. Now, we can actually take things to another level when we specifically do mention a movie. Let me just quickly type in the word Frozen. Look at this right here. Just like that, just by simply typing in Frozen, look, identical. This is the legit characters in the movie. Wait until you see what this can do. But now, like I said before, this is where it really starts to get insane. Watch what happens when I add this. Now I have Stills Archive. We can just generate a generic image and we're gonna get some amazing looking images that look like this. But let's go ahead and pick a specific movie. We'll stick with the Disney genre. I'll go ahead and select the Disney movie. You can then put it in and then it's gonna make the exact identical image of what that movie should look like. Now it's not gonna work perfectly across the board for every single one. And I do wanna mention that this actually does work best in Mid Journey for some reason. I like to also use free pick. However, specific keywords like Disney are actually moderated and you're not allowed to use those. In this case specifically, however, Mid Journey does appear to do the best job when using this meta token. But like I said before, it is now time for the grand finale. And that's gonna be this amazing cheat code I'm about to show you. Now, I want you, and I will remind you that I will include this via the link in the description, but once you start to say something like this right here that I have highlighted, okay? Once you use something like this, for a quick example, I'll paraphrase it. When I use Stills Archive in the beginning of my AI image prompts, for tools like Midjourney, my images look amazing, blah, 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 okay? I'll actually include all of this via the links in the description because here's what we're gonna do. We know that that Stills Archive meta token works so well, but how could we leverage the power of AI to get even better ones, if that's even possible. Well, we do that by simply starting off with a conversation with an LLM, in this case, ChatGPT, where I basically said, listen, when I use this at the beginning, my images look so good. What can I do to kind of duplicate that? And now look at this. Instantly, it gives me the specific things I could do. I've stumbled into a prompt physics hack. And yes, it feels like a cheat code because it is manipulating how the model interprets hierarchy and context signals. Now, I would pay special close attention to this. It's gonna provide us with some very good hints, tips, and tricks. But look at this. Again, is it risky, illegal? No, it's not. It's in the same zone as saying shot on IMAX 70 millimeter. You're activating trained cinematic distributions, okay? Now, you could say avoid direct film titles and actor likeness, just stick to style, not IP mimicry. But now the important part, here is exactly how we can upgrade this. Stills Archive even further. It gives us these variations that specifically amplify right here. Look, higher authority, 
analog film, metadata realism injection, and then even more secret meta cheat tokens. Equivalent or stronger cinematic bias triggers, movie studio language, then I get this full example prompt combo. Then when using this prompt right here, it's elite, clean, and safe. And then finally, a pro tip, stacking a workflow. Hierarchy matters. Start prompts like this. And I can copy this code and use this to preface my prompts, okay? Then down here below, want me to build a stills archive meta generator for you? I always recommend saying yes, because these meta prompt generators are gonna allow you to instantly create prompt after prompt simply by just providing one basic subject. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna say yes, build it, just like it instructs me to say, let's see what this can come up with. Now again, I could sit here forever and we can go over image after image and really just be impressed by all these images that we got. So what I've done instead is that during the duration of this video, every image that you've seen so far has all been images completely generated based off what I just showed you right now in chat GPT. But using this prompt generator, this is the first time I've done this. And now here it is, look. Stills Archive Meta Generator V1.0. It is an archival frame engine, the most advanced cinematic stills generator. I get my core meta tokens. Look at this right here, all amazing stuff. I get a template, scrolling down, more example outputs, and then my bonus enhancers and usage examples. Now, what I would always recommend before we wrap this up, this whole thing right here is the prompt generator. Now, what I would always say at the bottom is this, provide the prompt generator combined together in one single paragraph broken down with perfect prompt adherence, okay? So that's gonna allow you to get the perfect prompt for just one singular copy and paste. Otherwise, we're gonna have to be copying and pasting all these different sections. Now, one last thing we can do is that if you still don't get the perfect prompt that you want, I like my prompts to be developed in a specific sort of a outline. So you can say something like this down here below. Now, don't worry, I'll also include all of these commands via the link in the description as well. But I'm basically saying is rewrite the prompt to where all I have to do in the future is just replace a subject. I want 10 prompts, each with a different stills archive movie studio. And all I want to do is just have to provide a subject each time and then craft a prompt to where each category or instruction will be separated by those specific hashtags. To where if I open something up like this, you see how it's broken down with hashtag role context instructions. I'll copy this like that. Go back in the chat GPT and basically re-instruct it to say something like this, where I'll say, no, I meant format the prompt like this example, and now there it is like that, okay? Perfect, I understand now exactly what you want. There it is, this is exactly what we were looking for. Now to conclude, let's take a look at some amazing images that I also converted to video and see how these all turned out. So there you have it. Use this Stills Archive Meta Token, but then follow the instructions to take it to insane 10x levels. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, if you like this video, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Subscribe to the new, yeah, you already know. Click the links below, let the algorithm glow. I'm the prom star, welcome to the show. Tight one line, watching the empire grow. I'm the prom star.